more police shootings. I'm amazed lately um, in the last couple of years, I guess with webcams and uh, recording devices and so on, that there's been a lot more incidents of police shootings, some unjust, some justified um, shootings for protection of um, self, citizen or uh, whatever. Um, some people say shootings aren't justified, but um, some criminals carry guns and they point them at the, po the police or whoever. And yeah, there seems to be an incident of shootings. And there seems to be um, a clash between races of white people and black people. Well, some white people are very nasty and some black people are very nasty. So don't sort of... Um, stereotype it right yet to what I'm talking about uh, the shootings just recently um, there's one in is it Minnesota and one in maybe Kentucky or something oh, no it was actually in Louisiana um, the the camera angles show something but it doesn't show everything um, and that's that's the issue of what it's about and I'm wondering you know, I've really got this sort of thing going on. What's going on in the police service or what's going on uh, with society um, that there seems to be more tension than um, what it used to be? Maybe it wasn't recorded as much, but it seems like in society now there seems to be more tension going on um, in public places. Um but I don't, I don't, I really truly don't think, uh, you know, from being an old security guard years ago, I don't think and believe that a, a policeman wakes up that day and says, I'm going to shoot someone. Um, I'm not sure about the criminal aspect um, of uh, another race or um, a gang affiliate or. Um, a hood, a hoodlum, um, if they have the same thing, or they think, well, you know, today I'm going to kill someone if they get in my way. I'm not, as I said, I'm not really convinced that a policeman would wake up in the morning or during the day and say, hey, I'm going to kill um, a person who's black, white, yellow, green, and I'm going to make it public on my webcam, or I'm going to do that and make sure I get caught or not caught um, by someone else's recording device. Um, there seems to be a lot of anger going on, and the anger seems to stem from, um, I think, maybe, they call it lawlessness, um, that a lot of people now, they're into this gender identity stuff and um, new laws and rules and the new generation, and I think that they sort of think that the rules don't apply to them anymore um, where society's rules are still governed by law so no matter how many times a person thinks they don't have to conform to society there's still a law system that actually tells them how to behave but anyway that's just an idea of what's going on there seems to be a lot of people who seems to think that um, there are individuals they can do whatever they want when they want um, hurt and say whatever they want to say and I don't think as I said that the police just wake up a policeman or a policewoman or whatever wakes up and says hey I, I want to hurt someone today there's always something that's going on that if it's on the right side of the tracks or the wrong side of the tracks of shooting that actually triggered something in their head to go pop 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 and i really don't know what it what's going on and why but it's not really in defense of a victim or a policeman it's sort of um in the defense of something's going on in society that's changing that's getting in the way of um, hurting people 
and people are hurting because they've just got no rules. There's got no, no, a lot of role models aren't becoming role models anymore like they used to be. Um, a lot of young kids used to say, when I grow up, I want to be a fireman, a policeman, a doctor or whatever. Um, those sort of professions. Now, a lot of that isn't happening, but that's another story. I might discuss that later.